The devastating effects of Hurricane Michael can be seen across Mexico Beach, Florida. Incredibly, one house stands strong. Could this be a miracle or something else? Stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Dustin with Hope Through Prophecy. On this channel, you will better understand Bible prophecy and be prepared for the end times. In this short video, you will learn the incredible story of the Michael Miracle, the single home that withstood the wrath of the most powerful storm to ever hit the Florida Panhandle. Make sure you stay to the end, where you will discover a key spiritual lesson that we can learn from this remarkable story. First, if you are new to Hope Through Prophecy, Please make sure that you quickly subscribe and that you click the bell icon so you're notified of all our future uploads. And make sure to text HOPE to 50597 so that you can keep in touch with us. You can receive prayer, an online Bible study course, text alerts, and more. Now let's get to our story. Hurricane Michael, a beast of a storm, has wreaked havoc on the panhandle of Florida. Michael became the first Category 4 storm in recorded history to reach landfall on the Northeast Gulf Coast. As a result of this ferocious storm, 29 deaths have been recorded so far. Here are some photographs of the widespread devastation. As you can see, the damage is extensive, as the storm has destroyed homes, crushed cars like cans, devastated businesses, snapped trees like twigs, and even uprooted roads. However, in the midst of this widespread devastation brought on by Hurricane Michael, there stands a glimmering bright spot, a beacon of hope, and a story of triumph. On Mexico Beach, Florida, the very ground zero for this ferocious storm, there stands a home. A home that has withstood this storm. Is this a miracle or something else? Let's watch the interview with the homeowners to get more insight into this incredible story and then we will discuss some powerful lessons we can learn from this. Hurricane Michael destroyed nearly everything in its path in the Florida Panhandle. That's the town of Mexico Beach. You can just see the pictures there. The aerials show the scope of the damage. But this house managed to withstand the historic hurricane. It's one of the few structures still standing. Look at that. Look at the difference between that house and everything around it. Joining us now are the homeowners, Russell King and Dr. LeBron Lackey. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being with us. Why did your house survive? Go ahead. We put a lot of work in it. <laughs> we, we paid attention to every detail from the ground up. Um, uh, at every point from, from, uh, from pilings to the roof uh, and everything in between, when it came time to, to make a decision about what level of material or what to use, we didn't pay attention to code. We went above and beyond code, and we and we tried to and we asked the question, "What would survive the big one?" And and we consistently tried to build it for that. And this was the, the engineers big one. took all kinds of things. You know, well, Apparently, so. Um, my understanding and, is and that the code, the, the Hurricane one. Andrew code in the Florida Panhandle, is that you have to build a house to withstand 120 mile per hour winds. You built this to withstand 240 mile per hour winds. Is that right? Uh, 240, 250, something like that. Um, it's uh, it's poured concrete walls on top of 40-foot pilings, um, and uh, rebar all in the walls. Steel cables go from the girders uh, above the pilings through the roof, uh, and are and continue through the roof down the other side on the back wall. So was this a miracle? I'll let you be the judge. In my opinion, the main reason this house withstood the storm is because of one thing. Preparation. You will notice that the homeowners not only built to code, but they built above and beyond. They were prepared for a storm. They made the extra effort and sacrifice needed to build a home that could withstand the most daunting weather, even up to 240 to 250 mile per hour winds. Their neighbors even doubted them and questioned why they would go to such lengths. But in the end, they were safe and secure. So what spiritual lessons can we learn from this incredible story? Friends, the Bible tells us that a storm is coming. But this storm will be bigger than Hurricane Michael, much bigger than any storm this world has ever seen. Matthew 24, 21 reads, 
For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. In fact, the Bible speaks of another Michael standing up at the end of time. Let's read of it right now. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Friends, a storm is coming. The greatest test ever given to God's people is soon to come upon us. The Bible speaks of persecution, economic boycotts, and even a death decree made against God's people. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel as we will cover end time events in depth so you can be prepared and have hope during these final days. For a powerful Bible prophecy which shows that we are living in the very end of time, check out my video Daniel 2, Urgent Bible Prophecy for today. Also consider this Bible passage which speaks about the end times. And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and on the earth distress of nations and perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. But how should we react to these prophecies that tell us what will be in the final days? Friends, we must prepare. And as those two men on Mexico Beach, we must look ahead at the coming storm and begin to prepare right now. Consider these words of Jesus himself in Matthew 7. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Friend, what is your foundation built on? Is it built on family, friends, or the things of this world? There's nothing wrong with these things, but we must have something more. We must have an active, obedient relationship with Jesus Christ. If you have not given your life to Him yet, please watch my video, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of Revelation. The only thing that we can take to heaven with us is our character. As Christians, we need to practice what we believe. We need to be living a life of victory, of saying yes to Jesus and no to Satan. We cannot wait until the very final events to get ready. We must be building that character now. Imagine if the two men on Mexico Beach decided to wait until a storm came before they started to build their home up. Would it stand? Of course not. It would be too late. And so it is with us. We need to be building up our characters brick by brick, victory by victory, so that when the end comes, we will be strong enough to stand. So how can we build a character that is ready to stand strong in the final days? Here are a few practical steps. Number one, make sure that you have confessed your sins and given your life to Jesus. Number two, turn away from your sins. Number three, become part of a Bible-believing church. And if you would like to find one, just text HOPE to 50597. Number four, pray, read your Bible every day, and share what you learn with others. Number five, keep your eyes on Jesus and stay faithful to Him. Friends, we can have hope in these final days. God promises to be the refuge, the shelter, the unbreakable home in the storms of life. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Like that home on Mexico Beach, our God is stronger than the mightiest of waves. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, 
The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring, mightier than the thunders of the many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Those who attend my church in Dallas, Texas, know that I love the old hymns. I'd like to share with you now one of my favorites. It reminds me of the hope that we can have in the storms of life. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold their wings of strife, when the strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or firm remain? It is safely moored, twill the storm withstand, for tis well secured by the Savior's hand. And the cables pass from his heart to mine, can defy the blast through strength divine. It will firmly hold in the straits of fear, when the breakers have told the reef is near. Though the tempest rave and the wild winds blow, not an angry wave shall our bark or flow. It will surely hold in the floods of death, when the water's cold chill our latest breath. On the rising tide it can never fail, while our hopes abide within the veil. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll, fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. Dear friend, what is your anchor? Do you want to have peace and hope that you and your family will stand secure in these final days? Let Him be your anchor. If this is your desire today, please write, Jesus, you're my anchor in the comment section below. I hope you will subscribe and like this video if it has been helpful to you. Continue to watch Hope Through Prophecy to learn more about Bible prophecy and be prepared for the soon return of Jesus. Stay faithful to the end and you will receive a crown of life.